Okay, here we go. I got this fuse mounted like I said I was going to. Um, this is the fuse that goes between the inverter on the positive side <clears throat> and the bus bar positive side. So what I did here and uh, um, make things easy and cheap. Um, again, this, uh, this is an audio fuse. You can get all sorts of different size fuses for it. I sized mine for my particular application. Um, a 2000 watt inverter, I chose a 150 amp <coughs> uh, fuse. Anyway, um, this comes in there so that you can do a couple different sizes. And you can do uh, like a four, four wire. Um, you can go, I'm, I'm not sure how big this goes, maybe two odd I think is as big as this will take. Uh, this is like a four wire size, so that's an insert sleeve that will reduce the size. But what I used here is three eighths refrigeration tubing. It's an old, uh, which means it's, uh, it's hard. And uh, <coughs> um, I suppose you could use regular, uh, regular tubing, but you want to get the hard stuff, in, in my opinion. Uh, makes things nice and rigid. So what I did is I cut a piece of the pipe at uh, two inches, and I just took a hammer and, and, and about, uh, about uh, um, three quarters to an inch back, and then flattened it. Um, and I did it while it was on the pipe. I flattened it out and then I drilled it, that way I had a nice handle back here. And then I did the other side, um, hammered it out, flattened it, drilled it. Then I had two flat pieces and with holes in it. And then I measured back two inches, whacked it off, and then uh, stuck it in there. And, and that's it. That's how I made my extensions for the, uh, for the fuse block. So um, I've, uh, I've got a stainless steel... Um, um, stainless steel bolt in that one, a stainless steel washer, but a zinc nut. And this is these are quarter twenties. It's uh that's both of these are zinc coated, so I gotta get more stainless steel hardware. Um or brass, whatever. But that's what I did, so uh makes life a little easier. Again, three eighths refrigeration copper and uh um you can use you know half inch or whatever. Now here's another thing you can use these for and I'll show you that <coughs> is I've got some four wire here. I think this is four gauge. Uh, I'm not sure, but anyway, you can hammer this out and flatten it, uh, or you know, flatten it out and drill a hole in it and do the exact same thing here. And then you would put it on the end of the um, end of your wire, and uh, that'll save you a ton of money because these ends to buy them are just way too expensive. But you get the idea. Yeah, flatten it out and make yourself uh, lug connectors for your wires. All right, so now we'll uh, go ahead and just turn her back on, test it out. We're doing fine. We got some power. In the time I did that too, look at the uh, look at our. Uh, our voltage, we're at 13.7, 13.8. It's adjusting, it's still tracking. We're at 600 and hit 640. Now we're at 14 volts. Oh, cloud just went over. We were in a um, absorption a little while ago. And I, I remember I said at about uh, uh, 12 o'clock, 12, 1 o'clock, we was gonna be fully charged and uh, be in float mode. Which it will be. Put the cover back on. Now the this should be all in a box. Anytime you have a connection like this, it should be in a box. Um, but at least the fuse is in the box, so that uh, if the fuse blows, it won't you know won't create a uh, won't flash it everywhere. Um, Anyway, all right, well, thanks for watching my uh, cheap way of doing stuff. All right, take it easy.